So in this video, I'm going to explain what a cross-sell model is and how you'd go about building it. Essentially, a cross-sell model is trying to identify what other product people buy um, with a product that they've already bought, okay? And so the idea is to identify other products that people are likely to buy and then cross-sell them that product. This is quite different to upsell models where uh, we talk about products that are of higher value, okay? So you're trying to replace a product uh, with a higher value product. A cross-sell is essentially you've bought a product and now you're trying to predict what other products people are gonna buy. And these usually manifest themselves in things like when you go to Amazon, it says recommended for you or people who bought this also bought that, okay? So that's what a cross-sell model does or manifests itself as it, sh it shows um, the consumer what else they are you know that, that they may want to buy and um, by making suggestions or making recommendations so a cross sell model is essentially a predictive model and what you're trying to do in this in in building this model and building a cross sell model is try to predict what else someone is going to buy so whether you're using some kind of regression or some kind of uh, decision tree what you're trying to work out is if someone bought product a how likely are they to buy product b product c product d etc okay so you're building your predictive model based Based on a cohort of people. So you look at your group of people who've bought, let's say, a camera. So product A is a camera, and you look at that and you try and predict from all the other attributes that they have. So for example, you know, they come to time of day, what else you know about them. So you may have their location through the through where you deliver where the delivery address is. You may know other things about them. They might give you their gender, they might give you their age, whatever they give you, you've got information about them. So you know that people like that, uh, or you've got other historical information about them, maybe other historical transactional data about them, or their browsing behavior or things they've rated whatever you have about them you say product people who buy product a which is the camera how likely are they to buy product b so you find a group of people buy product a and buy product b but you find exactly similar group of people that buy product a but haven't yet bought product b okay so what you're essentially trying to do is say, okay i found a group of people that bought product a and look very similar to another group of people who bought product b and that's your predictive model okay so when you have that kind of model you can then send send things like the recommendation engine and say <clears throat> you know people like you or you may be interested in this or you may say things like people like you also bought people uh, also bought products uh, people like, like you also bought these products okay so that's essentially a cross-sell model cross-sell model is a predictive model that tries to work out when you buy product a how likely you are to buy product b based on people who've also bought product a and product b and how similar they are to you and again that similarity can be anything okay it could be you know like i said demographics about the person it could be their past purchase it could be what they where they've browsed what products they've rated anything really um, that you can get that you can get data on uh, about that individual you can use in the predictive model to cross sell that's essentially a cross sell model okay and a lot of the time if you work in retail um, that is a common uh, a model that you'll be asked to uh, build because if you can cross sell another product you obviously increase the basket size um, and therefore you increase the value of that customer so cross sell models are really uh, useful and very common models um, and like I said it, you can use regression technique you can use uh, uh, you know uh, a decision Decision tree uh, type analysis whatever you're using uh, the objective is to identify a group of people who bought product A and bought product B um, and then find a very similar group who only bought product A and you want them to also buy product B so that's essentially a cross-sell model if the business does ask you to build a cross-sell model I hope this video explains what a cross-sell model is and how you go about building it like I said the, the the data that you want to use is anything you have about the customer when they bought product A and you're trying to find similarities between them and other people who bought the product A and product B okay so therefore you can target people who just bought product A to go and buy product B and again same principle you may find people who buy product A and product C so you're trying to get people who buy to who bought product A to then promote product C to them rather than product B okay but essentially you're looking for people who uh, have bought a common product and how likely they are to buy a secondary or, or another product and again with a cross sale model they don't have to be related product they can be any random product okay to be to be quite frank you're just looking at what other people have bought okay and you're trying to find people who are similar uh, to them and therefore you can cross promote those products to them well that's a cross sell model um, i hope you found this video useful please do like the video if you have any comments or you'd like to know more about cross sell or any challenges you have please put them in the um, comment section below and of course please do subscribe to my video thank you